Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce to you um, a website from where you can uh, access uh, um, thousands of data uh, data sets, free data sets um, on financial market and um, and also macroeconomic uh, data. All right. So uh, what you need to do is that just uh, do a Google search Quandl Q U A N D L. Let's spell it well. And then the first link that you'll get is uh, Quandl Financial and Economic Data. So it's a website um, on which you'll find uh, thousands of uh, data sets, um, you know, um, uh, which are also getting updated on a daily basis. Um, so uh, some of them are free and some of them uh, you have to uh, purchase. So it's a very good uh, platform uh, from where you can get uh, really uh, uh, good data sets. Um, these are real data sets, not the simulated data sets. So uh, not only you can uh, use these data sets for you know practicing your problems or data science problems or predictive modeling problems. You can also use this data set for your research work. If you are a researcher, if you are an analyst working for uh, you know different organizations, you can take data from Quandl and use this data. Uh, cite uh, the uh, site uh, whenever you are using site that you are using from Quandl, and you can uh, make uh, use of this data in your analysis or in your research. Okay, so let's. Uh, see what are the features of this platform and how you can uh, get access to data set. If you go to Quandl uh, uh, website on the front page itself, uh, it, it says that it helps uh, the data analysts save time, effort and money by delivering high quality financial and economic data in the precise format that they need. So there are three things to note here. First one is it delivers financial and economic data. So other than financial economic data, you won't find many other data sets in this area. So it's very specific. If you're looking out for financial and economic data, only then Quandl is um, is the right platform. Second, the precise format. That means you get data in different formats or the format that you want. So there are various format to choose from. Unlike in many other sources where for uh, getting the data format is an issue. Sometimes you will get in a format that uh, you need to convert it to a different format before using it, and that is that that uh, is a difficult uh, thing to do, and it takes a lot of time. All right. So on the uh, front page, you can see on the right hand side the different uh, formats in or different uh, ways you can get the data. You can get data directly by connecting to the APIs of Quandl. You can get it into your, uh, um, you know, machine learning or your data science platform, like Python, like R, like uh, Excel, uh, or you can directly use uh, on the web. Okay. So the three most uh, popular ways of using uh, a popular platform in which data analysis is done is Python, R, and Excel. So how do you get data from Quandl onto Python. So just click on this Python, this particular uh, area. What you will get here is the code that you need to use. What do you need to use? All right. So you just have to import Quandl, import Quandl as you can see on the screen, and then data, and then you get Quandl dot uh, okay Quandl dot get, and whichever code it is there. So against every data set there will be a code. You can just use it within a double quote. Uh, and then it will get the data and um, like here in this case of some GDP data from uh, you know Fed and that you are getting directly uh, um, in the uh, Python okay so you just have to import the Quandl uh, you know package okay before that how do you get it in R so in R you can you know install the library uh, Quandl library Quandl and then data uh, you can get data Quandl and then use uh, the code for which you want. Uh, code is a unique code for every data set. You just have to use the code and you will get the data in uh, in R. Okay, so that's how you get it in uh, R. You can also get it in Excel by using some of the plugins. Oh, sorry, add-ins. Okay, Quandl add-in. You just have to go and you know use this add-in to get data directly uh, to uh, Excel. You can also directly download and. Uh, download it in Excel and then 
uh, import it to Python, SAS, R, or any of the softwares you want. All right. So this is about um, the basic features of uh, Python. As you can see, uh, there are more features to is also like uh, depending upon uh, who you are, you are an individual or you are a developer of uh, representing your company or you are an uh, institution or uh, you are from academics or you are more like a profit making company so based on who you are you can uh, use this uh, platform differently sometimes you have to pay money for using it for commercial uh, purpose and for research uh, and academics they have uh, you know uh, good discounts uh, on the um, data sets and um, yes so uh, they have you know categorized uh, the uses of the data sets based on who you are you can also check the apis if you are more like a developers there are other resources uh, you can contact the help center um, all right and the last one is you can also sell your data if you have proprietary data um, with yourself and you think that that data uh, is important to others they can use in the research and analysis you can publish uh, your data on this platform and uh, you will be paid uh, every time your data gets purchased all right so how do we browse data so let's browse a couple of data on how we can you know, get the data let's let's browse we want the stock data google stock data for google okay google stock data Okay, just they have a search box. Just write anything you want, and that it's going to give it uh, the different sources for Google stock data. You can get it from Nasdaq, from other sources, Yahoo Finance, and so on. Some of these are free, and some of them premium. There is a free thing. You go to free section. So these are all free data set, and there are also uh, the premium. There is also a premium section from where you have to pay money to get it. Okay, let's uh, let's search Infosys stock. All right, so you get Infosys stock from this thing. We can get other financial data like let's say exchange rate. Um, dollar to uh, rupee exchange rate data so you get dollar to exchange rated data from you know different uh, databases uh, on the way and it acts like a, more like a search engine for you okay good thing about this thing is that you can cat you can search based on categories so you can search based on uh, stocks bonds commodities currencies future option indexes estimates uh, based on uh, uh, global whether it's global us uh, europe brick countries and then you can search industry related data also you can search markets data uh, demographic data data on education industry housing and so on you can Search so based on central banks also, whether it's uh, U.S. Central Bank, European Central Bank, Indian, Chinese Central Bank, and so on. There you can also get academic datasets from university. That also is present over here. So how do you get it? Uh, how do how do you get the code uh, that I was talking about in the beginning? How do you get the code uh, that you can use in Python or R? So when you click on this. Um, okay so how do you get the code okay here you can see the code here so every time you are you want this data in python or r you just have to use this code okay so quandle dot get is what you use in python so that you have to use this code in the double uh, code and then this data will be uh, directly fetched into the uh, uh, Python environment all right so that's about uh, what bundle is all about and please uh, you know please use this site every time you use uh, economic or financial data 
it's good data it's it's good for practicing your data science problems by taking help from data because this is all real data it's not modified unlike many other sources where um you get data where it's it's all manipulated so you won't get the real experience of how the real data looks like so this is and financial data is remember it's not available freely uh, in many uh, freely in public domain so this is one uh, good effort by this team and uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more such videos for more videos in data science analytics quantitative research and so on thank you so much